What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you the top 50 free Cydia tweaks for iOS 8.4. I know there's a lot of paid Cydia tweaks, but there's a ton of good ones as well, and in this video I want to share the top 50 with you guys, and these are all compatible with the latest 8.4 and 8.3 jailbreaks on the 6 Plus and lower devices. Now if you guys have not jailbroken yet, that is a requirement for this video, so go ahead and do so there, and if you guys want to go ahead and get the full tweak list, all of the source Yes, you will need a lot of custom sources for these, so you want to go ahead and access the list down there, and there will be some bonus tweaks in there as well, as well as this wallpaper. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Customize the look and functionality of the toggles in Control Center using CC Controls. It's a free replacement of Polis, and it's got some nice theming options in there. Long CCB is a shortcut. When you press a toggle inside of the Control Center, it'll take you to the settings belonging to that toggle, so just like this. Now this is Banner Buddy. It makes it easier to access notifications when you actually get one. So for example, here's a message. Uh, it'll actually allow you to bring down that message along with reachability so you can go ahead and answer it down here very easily. Now here's type status. It'll show you when someone in the conversation thread with you is about to send you an iMessage. So predict the future. Now Tiny Bar works well with Banner Buddy and type status. It streamlines the look of your notifications. And uh, just to show you guys when I do activate Banner Buddy, it will still work for me. Really cool. Custom Customize the look of your messages using Message Customizer. You can get some really neat color combos in here. You can change everything from the text color to the bubble color a lot in here. Now Prism Board is actually really cool. It'll allow you to change the colors of your pop-up keys and it's a random color every single time and it works really well with Messages Customizer. Really cool look for your keyboard. Now Blord is a keyboard tweak that allows you to get a nighttime keyboard look everywhere. So you'll get dark keyboard setup. You know, it's a lot like Eclipse too, but only in the keyboard area throughout your device. Notice how the return key has been replaced with a send key. Well, that's return to sender. And it's a really nifty tweak. Makes it a lot easier to send text messages by clicking this big button instead of the little one down there. And of course, a must have for anybody using the keyboard, it's called swipe selection. Easily navigate through text with a simple swipe while typing and select text using this guy down here. Now a feature in iOS 9 taken from a jailbreak is called showcase. So it'll actually change uh, from lowercase to uppercase when selecting the shift key right there. Now I would recommend you guys download dim, especially if you use your device at night a lot. It actually allows you to get an even darker display. So let's put this guy all the way down and then we can go ahead and put it down even lower with this tweak. Now take a look at my dock. It's got quite a few changes in here. For one, there's round dock. It gives you rounded edges just like Mac OS 10 has on its dock and it's a really cool effect. Two is dock dock shift. You can add filters to the back of it, make it look a lot different. Let's say I want it the most blurry and uh, it's going to look more blurry right there. And if you take a look, this phone seems really massive. This is a six plus with the five icon layout. It's called better five column home screen and better five icon dock. So you can get up to five icons in the, the horizontal format. So it's really cool. Fit a lot of tweaks on your display and it doesn't feel bunched up at all. And while we're on the topic of rounding things, here is circle icons. Make all the icons in setting more circular. It really works well in this theme. Give your phone a translucent look. That's actually pretty crazy with Flurry. It's so extensive and well made. I mean, you can find it everywhere in any settings from settings to phone to the app store. Everything has this glassy look to it and it looks really cool. Cylinder brings page animations to iOS 8.4. It's the free version of Barrel. Now there's a ton to choose from and it works very well. This is just one of my favorites right here. Allow your device to scroll in infinitely through pages using Mobius. Give yourself a custom logo for your carrier using Zeppelin. And there are so many packs inside of Cydia. I've got Pokemon packs right here. So change the look with a Pokemon of your choice. I've got some drink ones as well if you want to advertise, but really cool. Now take a close look. This is Cheesecake. It brings the animation from Android for lock to iOS. So it fades out when locking instead of just a sudden black. Make your device feel a lot faster than it actually is using no slow animations. It'll open and close applications a lot faster. Overall, all animations will be sped up on your device, locking and unlocking the display. It'll just feel like you got 
saw a RAM boost. Now here's Bigify. It allows you to change the size, the labels, the angle and rotation of icons. Overall, just customize the look of the icons on your springboard. Just like Back to Search, a feature found in iOS 9, last app is set with an activator gesture and mindset to double tap on the status bar and it'll open up the last used application that you were inside of. So say I quit this one and I wanna quickly jump back into it. You just activate that gesture and boom, it opens up the last app used. Add some extra functionality to Safari with Safari Refresh. Just slide down to refresh a page. It's that easy. Now close all tabs if you have a ton open, just by holding this one little X with close all, and go ahead and select yes, easy. Easily power down using this new power down menu. It's called Power Plus. And over here you have a shut down, a respring and a safe mode button. Now the latest version of power saver mode, which does require a custom source, puts your device into a power saving mode. This actually is stolen straight from iOS 9 and over here you can check individual settings that are enabled when you enable this mode. Greatly extend the life of your battery. Now there are two more Cydia tweaks I can recommend to extend your battery. The first is Locus. Locus will only enable location services on the apps that you're using so it stops all hidden location services in the background. Also here's Rubik. It'll limit the usage of data to a certain speed depending on if you're using your device or not and it does help greatly extend the battery life. Now although this already comes stock with the 6 Plus, SB Flip will allow you to get that exclusive functionality from the 6 Plus to rotate your home screen sideways on the iPhone 6 and lower devices. Another iPhone 6 Plus feature is these conversation pictures in the messages application. You can bring them to all devices using Convo Pics. Now here's Jelly Lock Unified. It's the Jelly Lock 7 successor and it does work great on the latest version. It is still in beta, but it's the Android lock screen on iOS. And you can add shortcuts in here that you can quickly open up to of course, after entering your password, but it works great. Change the text on your lock screen using lock screen tool. You can also remove the camera grabber if you don't like it, but pretty much customize your lock screen if you don't want to go too extensive like Jelly Lock. Now here's a lock glyph, a very elegant way to unlock your device with Touch ID. It's just been updated. Sound is finally working. Mix up the look of your app switcher with grid switcher. You can align these in a grid and you can get up to four by four. Add a boot sound to your device using boot sound. As you can see, I've got a Mac OS X sound on my iPhone whenever it reboots or respring's, and there's a lot to download, a lot to choose from. So a tweak that stands out to me is Oops Lock. Say you're typing, you're doing something, you lock your device, and you realize, well, wait, I didn't finish. Well, this quickly allows you to get right back into where you were at. It's called Oops Lock, and when you lock your device, you can set a certain amount of time after pressing the home button, it'll go back right into where you were. A potential lifesaver PM really will ask you if you really want to confirm a PM setting for your alarm. If you say nope, it'll switch it to AM and you're good. Now my cleaner, I recommend for everybody and anybody that's gonna jailbreak. It'll clean up your mess you make with tweaks. It'll delete all caches, everything that you leave behind. Now here's a date in status bar. And just as the name suggests, it'll put the date in your status bar so you can access it within any application. You don't have to go to your home screen to look at that icon. Not nine brings the modification for notes for uh, coloring using this right here. So if you just select it, you can actually color from within the notes application, do your thing select the tools uh, right here and easily modify it and puts it directly in your note application when you're done. Now here's True Eye Radio. It'll allow you to get unlimited skips inside of the radio application and no ads ever play. This does not work with Apple Beats music streaming service. No, it can't get it to you for free. Now send delay could save you a whole lot of pain. It gives you a certain amount of time to go ahead and stop and cancel the message from ever being sent to the other recipient in case there's a spelling error or you're sending the message to the wrong person, a true lifesaver. Also, there are some new emojis with emoji 83 plus so when it comes to the flags for nations it brings all of those extra flags found in ios 9 to ios 8.4 and there is one bonus spock emoji in here as well so it'd be this one right here and lastly to finish it all up here are some camera tweaks i could not live without so first off for photos here is tap to snap just by tapping on the screen you'll be able to easily take pictures just like feature found in android also when recording video here is record pause just tap on the status over here of the video and then untap it and it'll go ahead and record again from where you left off. Also record and torch allows you to use your flash module while recording. This is found in iOS 9 but not in iOS 8 at stock. And lastly front flash whenever taking a picture it'll activate a front flash for your device so it has to be set to on 
And then just like Snapchat, it'll flash the whole display to create a synthetic flash. So guys, there you go. Those are the top 50 free iOS 8.4 and 8.3 Cydia tweaks. There's a lot of good stuff in there. I know a lot of the good ones are paid, but there's a lot to be found on the free section in Cydia as well. And of course, it doesn't matter if you pirate, but it's good of you guys to support the developers. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I really enjoy making these kind of videos, always discovering new tweaks. And of course, there will be many more of these to come. I I mean, there's a ton of Cydia tweaks that would be made specifically for these firmwares, and I'll be covering all of that. Anyways, guys, stay tuned for more videos. Have a great day. Enjoy all of these tweaks in your iOS 8.4 jailbreak. Peace.